In any relationship, the better we communicate, the closer we can get. For some, the bond goes beyond friendship. They become partners. And when a dog and a person communicate as a team, amazing things can happen. Almost nowhere has there been a more powerful demonstration of this teamwork than in the aftermath of one of the greatest tragedies in recent history. Captain Scott Shields and his 11-year-old search and rescue dog, Bear, are two of the heroes of 9-11. On that terrible morning, Scott reacted to the crisis by racing to the site of the World Trade Center. Bear and Scott arrived just as the second tower collapsed. You know, Bear was always at my side. He went on rescue missions with me always. I watched him as the buildings came down. He didn't flinch. And I realized he wasn't scared. Scott couldn't have known how important Bear was to become to the hundreds of firefighters working there that morning. Uh, we were standing in the middle of a 16-acre debris field, which I don't know if you could really grasp 16 acres of debris. And it was mountainous, just steel and concrete. Not knowing where to start was very frustrating. We didn't we, I didn't have the tools. And then this guy comes up with this dog. And I remember looking around saying, how did, how did he get in here? I mean, how did the dog make it in here? We barely made it in. Bear led the way. He told Scott and the firefighters where to search. I just went from one hit of bears. If he'd signaled that he'd found somebody, I moved on. We were just kind of all honed in on Bear and just waiting for Scott to turn to us and say, my dog is making a hit. Every time he communicated that something was there, he was right. It gave me a tool that I could work with and I didn't feel so helpless anymore. In the days following 9-11, Bear and Scott worked tirelessly, 18 hours a day. The demands went far beyond any search and rescue mission Bear had ever tackled, but he never gave up. Bear's determination led to one of the most personal recoveries for Scott and the firefighters. New York City Fire Department Chief Peter Gansey. Bear hit on the spot and Scott was insisting that there was something there. We had dug for 10 minutes or so and uh, we were coming up with nothing and Scott continued to insist that uh, Bear has a hit there and that we should keep digging. Then he pawed the ground with his right foot and he always used his right foot. And that was his, his signal for finding something. And he pulled up a piece of paper, had some blood on it, um, which was more of an incentive for us to keep digging. John Paul crawled down into a hole. He was the skinniest one. I would say we got to about a six to seven foot mark and we, uh, we uncovered the chief of the New York City Fire Department, Peter Gansey, which was difficult because uh, that's your leader. I guess you could equate it to a soldier re recovering his general on a battlefield. Uh, it was difficult to, to really comprehend. As days passed, hopes of rescue turned to the challenge of recovery. More and more dog teams joined Bear and Scott. At times, more than 350 of the best search and rescue dogs in the United States and Europe were working at Ground Zero. There was just no way to find things buried under that ash except to use the dogs. It took six months before Bear's work was done. By the time he left Ground Zero, he had recovered more victims than any other dog.
A year later, Bear died from multiple cancers. His fellow rescue workers knew they had lost a very special friend and hero. He was honored with a New York City Fire Department funeral. I walked out of the Trade Center that first night with more respect than I'd ever had for him. And I respected him more than anybody that I knew. I knew that I could always count on him. And every few years, we need to remember that dogs are man's best friend and that they talk to us. And they tell us what they need, but they also tell us what we need. And they'll protect us. And sometimes keep us safe. Search and rescue dogs and their handlers spend years learning how to understand and talk to each other. Thanks to their partnership, thousands of people have been saved.